snake of the night is a bamboo pit viper, Trimerosaurus albolabris, one of the more common snakes here in Hong Kong. It's a pit viper. It's got longer retractable fangs and probably the most common snake that people will see when they're out on the trails. This is a female. You can tell because of the absence of a white line going down the side and above the lip, which is where their other common name comes from, the white-lipped pit viper. You'll see it very distinct in males. Pretty cool find to start the evening. Still super early. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, next cool find. It's not a herp, but a pretty interesting insect. These are called lantern bugs and they are part of the leafhopper family and you can definitely find them in hong kong if you know where to look they tend to hang around certain types of trees and at least in my experience um, they're on those trees um, a little bit more seasonally so a bit earlier and later in the year i'm sure there's um insect experts out there that may refute that but that's been my personal experience they're really cool. They actually come in a lot of different colors, though in Hong Kong I've only seen this style so far. And normally where there's one, there's many. So I'll take a minute, look around, see if I can find any more, and check back in with you guys if I find anything else cool. So we've got our second herp of the night. This is a juvenile cascade frog. Um, when they grow up, they're a little bit darker. Uh, and when they're this age, or at this stage of development, they're actually quite bright green, so not sure if it comes up on the phone, but there you go, he's a tiny little guy, probably about two centimeters long. And what these guys will do is just stick to the rocks right underneath rapids and small waterfalls, um, which is also where they'll lay their eggs. And it's a little bit tough to see on this one because he's still small but they have spots on their back and there's an argument that says um, the spots look like the eggs and if any predatory insects or otherwise come over to the eggs they'll sit next to them and try and distract them and kick them away haven't seen the behavior yet but maybe someday we'll check back in when we find something else okay guys next snake of the night this is a Striped scream snake, genus Epistotropus, right next to a little stream here, and I'm assuming this one is making its way into this one or out of it and into another. Um, a pretty small snake. This one I would guess is about, oh, maybe 10 centimeters. Uh, they get about maybe, maybe twice that long when they're really big. Um, but they have really, really heavily keeled scales. This one's actually quite stripy. Sometimes the stripes are quite dull. Um, and they have really kind of armor-plated heads uh, made for shuffling around under the rocks and streams looking for little shrimp and fish and things like that. Um, pretty, uh, pretty fun find tonight. Not too surprising uh, for the area, but uh, uh, a nice one. Not, not one I find here too often, so. We'll uh, let this guy be on his way and see if we can't find something else. Okay, so while I was checking the stream that this uh, striped stream snake was around, I came across this guy. I believe this is a big-headed frog. Um, pretty common in the mountainous areas um, here in Hong Kong. And this is a little one. They do get bigger than this. Um, but they're quite attractive little frogs. So I thought I'd take a quick break and show you guys. All right, I'll have to find more stuff. Okay, guys, we've got a real treat tonight. This is the McClellan's Coral Snake. It's one of Hong Kong's several species of elapid. And uh, similar to the US coral snakes and South American coral snakes, it's a uh, pretty toxic little guy. Uh, this one's a uh, probably average size adult. Um, head's a little bit more yellowish. Uh, sometimes they can be Pretty white. This one's quite yellowy, um, and he's just foraging around, looking for a meal. I imagine trying to find some of the fossorial snakes here, either a blind snake or some other smaller and rare types of snakes up here, including the mountain keelback, which I've found before. So, 
watch this guy for a few minutes and see what he does. But um, what a treat. everyone so not a snake but another interesting little animal this is a hammerhead worm and it's a uh, I believe a form of a terrestrial planaria I'm not a expert in the subject but we see these guys around quite a bit they can stretch out very long um, they eat other animals including worms I'm not sure what else and Based on my limited research, I understand that they can regenerate from segments that get cut off. So, pretty interesting little creatures. Right, check back in if we find some more herps.